In a special lab that screens out electrical interference from today's world, they're testing a prototype of the power station of tomorrow. Scaled up, this would be a solar farm in space, generating electricity from constant sunlight, then beaming it back to Earth. At Queen's University in Belfast, they've shown the system works, lighting up a sign with power transmitted wirelessly across a room. Space-based solar power is the concept of harvesting the solar energy in space where it's abundant and available day and night and sending that to Earth and so that we can have abundant, affordable and reliable energy all the time, day and night and through all weather and seasons. By the end of the decade, the British company Space Solar hopes to have a power station in orbit. A mile wide, it would beam power back to a receiving station anchored out at sea, enough for more than a million homes. The beam is a microwave, but it's not like some kind of death ray. It has just a quarter of the power of the midday sun. I can safely step in front of it. Even when this is scaled up, nobody is going to get fried. <laughs> It only makes sense because of the most powerful rocket ever built. The new SpaceX Starship is likely to reduce launch costs to as little as 1% of what they were just 20 years ago. It should make it possible to generate electricity for a quarter of the price of nuclear energy on Earth. This independent engineer says it's the giant leap the world needs. As a society, we have outgrown this planet, so it's only natural that we reach out to space and provide power from space. It definitely was a sci-fi idea when I was young, uh, but technology has advanced so much, I believe this is definitely something we could see in our lifetime. There is still much to prove, not least, that it's possible to build such a vast power station in orbit with robots. But the potential is so great that the UK is one of several countries now looking to keep the lights on from space. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Belfast.